Hello, Mary here. I'd like to show you some of the little things that I've been making recently. I've made a couple of these teeny tiny mini albums. They're made from one sheet of double-sided 12x12 patterned paper. Uh, I saw it on YouTube. I've become a bit of a YouTube fanatic since I've discovered mini albums, which I suppose is fair enough because I first found out about mini albums on YouTube and I've become a bit addicted. Anyway, um, I saw this one sheet mini album on Creation CC on YouTube and the instructions very clear and they're very quick and simple to make. In fact, I might show you at the end of this just how quick it is to make one. This one was made to commemorate a sports day. So there's a photograph on the cover of an attempt to win a race and it's got a rosette. I've got on the end here a little charm which says handmade. I wonder if I hold it up, if you can read. Hold it to the camera. Handmade on the little hand. Oh, you can tell I'm a novice at this, can't you? Anyway, it says handmade. I'm good. I bought a few of these on eBay and I'm going to add one somewhere on each of my mini albums. This one's just held together with a hairband. Nice and easy way to do it. And because it's dark brown, it doesn't look too feminine. The book has got eight little pages. And in each one, there's a pocket. The pocket goes across the whole album. And there's room for quite a decent sized tag in there. The back tag has got a photograph on the front and an empty space in the middle. This particular grandson likes to write, so I thought he like, might like to do his own journaling on this. The tag is all held together by this tab. This is another YouTube find by Paper and Lace Princess. She's got a whole section on tags, tabs and pockets that you can make with your envelope punch board. That's a fairly new purchase of mine, the envelope punch board, and I'm loving all the different things you can do with it. And thank you to all the generous people on YouTube who show you their ideas. So basically there's room for eight pictures. If you don't want journaling on all of them, of course, there's room for even more. And in the top, there's space for another couple. Really rather nice. All in all, this is my first attempt. It took me about an hour. The second attempt is for a much younger grandson. I'm giving his sister a mini album for her birthday on, at the weekend and I thought he might be a little bit jealous, so I've made him his own little mini album. His birthday's not till February, so it's a long time for him to wait. I forgot to hang on the, the handmade tag, so I just stuck this on. Let me try again to hold it up to the camera. Oh, is that it? Can you see it? Handmade. Quite clever and very cute. This one is made with a, I think it's a bow bunny sheet of boy paper. And this time I just went back to Paper and Lace Princess with my envelope punch board and this time I made the tags. Uh, with a nice little curvy edge. And it again, very simple, got the tags. It's a space theme and really rather nice. As I said, this is made with one sheet of 12 by 12 double sided paper and it's scored on one side at 2, 6 and 10 and on the other side at 3, 6 and 9. Then I've put a little bit of red tape on the four corners. If I take that off, which I should have done previously, because it won't come off on camera will it? There we go. There 
and there's the, the fourth one up and that side goes down. This mini album is made with six pieces of double sided tape and one cut. If I put the central fold onto the line of my Fiskars paper trimmer and cut from the first fold across, which gives me a piece like this. This is where the next bit of double sided tape comes in. Well, I've got a little bit left on this row. Can I ever find the end? There we go. And the tape goes underneath that score line. And this one. Right on the bottom. I like to burnish down my double sided tape. It makes it easier to get the backing off. Well, that's probably famous last words. Gosh, I'm going to do this on a regular basis. I'll need to get quicker, won't I? Take that piece off, and this piece off, and then fold the two sides together. And all you have to do is concertina on the folds. And there's the basis of your mini album, complete with pockets. You then need a spine. And I've cut this one. The original tutorial said to cut this at one and a quarter inches and to score at a half and three quarters. However, I found that a bit narrow, especially if you're going to put lots of tags and pictures into it. And this one I cut instead at one and three eighths, just an eighth of an inch bigger, but it makes for a, a neater finished object. So that's what I did with this one. I didn't uh, measure the fractions too carefully. I cut, I, I scored at half an inch on that side and then half an inch on this side. And that gives me my three-eighths inch spine. A little bit of glue down this side. And then I like to start with the front so if I don't do it quite as neatly as I should I have a bit of leeway. And some glue on the back. And done. I'll have to be quick with my quick line drying glue to get it adjusted so that it's sitting nicely. Quick and easy as that, and endless possibilities. I can see a lot of teeny tiny mini albums in my future. The other thing I wanted to show, again something I saw on YouTube of course, is a new style of bookmark and I am loving this. A little piece of card folded in half and a magnet on each side. You can, if I hold it better you'll probably hear it click. Um, and it's held in a book 
across the pages. As you can see, you can put quite a few pages in, quite a strong magnet, and it will hold there indefinitely and you won't lose the bookmark. Thank you, Anna, from Anna's Craft Creations. Um, I really love that. And again, I can see lots of those in my future. Thanks for watching.